Sometimes there are devices that are just not fixable. In this case, this is one of those times. When you plugged in the switch, it would charge at 15 volts and it would jump around between 0.23 amp draw to as much as a half amp, but still it wouldn't turn on. So I thought maybe we had a faulty M92 chip since that's responsible for charging at 15 volts, but that's not the case. Let's go over the microscope. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the area where the M92 chip sits and I pulled it off the board because I measured a short on this capacitor right here. So if I take my two probes in continuity mode, wherein they touch, they beep, and I touch one side of the capacitor and the other, I have a dead short. It's a 0.2 ohms to ground. So I measured a dead short originally, pulled the chip off, and I still have a dead short. When I inject voltage here, guess what gets hot? Not this capacitor, the APU. The APU is actually underneath this shield here. The short exists in the APU. And unfortunately, there is no way to fix this. I absolutely cannot fix a shorted APU. Now, <laughs> technically, the only way to actually fix this would be to replace this APU, and I believe underneath this shield is the EMMC, which is the NAND. If you wanted to, you could replace this APU and the EMMC and then that would fix it. But uh, we're not gonna replace an APU. It's just not cost efficient to replace this chip here. So unfortunately, it's sad to see that this board wasn't fixable because what could have been fixed is just, it's junk now. So pretty much the whole unit is just parts. Unless of course you can find a spare motherboard, then that would be a different story. So that just goes to show, not every single device can be fixed. If you'd like to see a switch that I can fix, check out this video right here. And when you get there, consider subscribing.